<coughs> oh man, I can't do that. Yo, what's up? Cyberox here. Today's tutorial is one. It's a very special tutorial. Alright, we're, we are going over the sin command in C++. Now, for you, for those of you who do not understand what sin is, it's C-I-N, not S-I-N. That's bad sin. This is a good sin. Even though there is no difference. But there is a big difference because language, real life, and <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, um, real quick before we start. Um, I haven't made a tutorial in, I believe, like two days. And, um, you know, I've, I finally got on my YouTube channel. And I looked, and I had two extra subscribers, um, a comment, and more channel views. And I was like, wow. You know, that, like, totally made my day because I have people actually watching my videos, you know. And on all my videos, I try to make it as easy and as most understandable as I can do it, you know. So, if you have a question, feel free. Shoot me a comment, man. Have no fear. Cyberox is here. So, let's go and get down to it. The first thing we're going to do is create an integer. We're going to call it user. And, yeah, we're just going to do that. All right. Now, we're going to come over here. And we're going to see out less than, less than, quotation, quotation, less than, less than, end L. Alrighty, now, in here we're going to type in, type a number. Type a number. Actually, let's make it specific. Type any number. Yeah, we'll just do that. Alrighty, and here's the special part of this tutorial. We're going to type in C I N. And we're going to put in the greater than signs. And now we're going to type in user. Okay, so let me go ahead and dissect this or break it down like a fraction real quickie. Alrighty. This is a variable. This is asking a question. And this is basically asking for the user input. Okay, doke. So let's go ahead and break it down. Uh, again, you know what this is. Enter is a function. Uh, this is the variable name. And it's not set to equal anything because the user is going to put that in. But I'll get to that in a minute. See out basically add this asking a question. So we all know what that means whenever you put see out in quotations, you know. Alrighty. Now here's where the fun part comes in. C in. And the two greater than, and just put user, and that's it. Basically saying, you know how whenever we come over here to user, we can set equal to 40? Well, the user is automatically going to put a number in, and that variable is going to come, become what the user put in. Okay, so it's better, it's easier uh, done than explained, if you will. Alrighty, now we are going to come in here. And we're going to type... Actually, we're going to make another variable. Ready? Call this one... We're going to put this one as an integer as well. We're going to put it as uh, C-O-M-P. Or computer. And in here... we're Actually, we're going to make the computer equal to 50. Alrighty. Um, type... Actually, we're going to redo it a little bit. So we're going to type any number... Between 1 and 100. Alright. Now, and down here, if you watch my last tutorial, if else statement, we're going to go ahead and do some of those. And now we're going to type in if user, which is the variable, we're going to put it to less than or equal, actually less than 50, then we're going to type in C out, quotation, and no. And here we're going to type in ah uh, ah uh, yeah two less no 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 just ah uh, almost try higher alrighty and now we're also going to make another one if put our two little curly brackets and two squiggly brackets or swervy brackets. If user is greater than 50, then we're going to type in another C out. Aw. Uh, too high. Try lower. 
Now we're gonna type in if curly swervy if user is equal to 50 then we're gonna type out C out less than oops too many you won alrighty uh, I'm sorry I didn't realize this was in the oh wait no it wasn't sorry I thought that this was in the video but it actually wasn't ha 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 alright now we're gonna go ahead and run this see what happens compile and run oh wait a minute I got errors all throughout this thing oh wait no no okay I was like oh I did not I forgot to add my semicolons but maybe I didn't and here we go type in any number between 1 and 50 so I'm gonna type in 23 or 20 and it says oh almost try higher alrighty so we're gonna go ahead and compile and run it again we're gonna do this three times so we get it straight be quiet and here we go right here and as you see it says type in a number between 1 and 100 so I'm gonna try 51 alrighty so I'm going to hit enter I'll try lower alrighty now this is the last time because we all know what's gonna happen I'm gonna get it right but I wanted to show you what happens if it did do it alrighty so we're just gonna wait and here we go we're gonna type in a 50 and it says you won Booyah, perfect. I am just too good sometimes. Alrighty, but yeah, that's how to uh, actually use the CN function. So, uh, yeah, don't be afraid. It's all right here. So, um, yeah, I, I actually don't know what else to explain. I mean, we just went over everything. Uh, the CN, yeah, let's go ahead and break down like a fraction then. Alrighty. So, we got an integer user, because he's going to be using numbers. And this is a variable name, and it's gonna be equal to literally whatever he puts in. You know. Uh, now this program is not bulletproof, so if they try to type in a letter or something, something might happen. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, actually, we could always try it else. And now we have another one: integer computer C O M P equals to 50 so that's going to be our main number they're going to be trying to guess to now we just basically put out on the screen type in any number between one and five one and a hundred and in this case it was half it was 50 and we're basically asking for the user input right here alrighty now it's going to say if user is less than 50 print out on the screen uh, almost try higher and if that don't work, that code will be denied and would go to the next one. If it was greater than 50, it would say, ah, uh, too high. Try, oh my god. Whew, look. Whoo, whoo, I almost lost it. It says, ah, uh, try lower. All right. And then if it says, if user is equal to 50, then type in you want. Alrighty. And I see the two equal symbols actually mean dead on equal. We cannot just put that otherwise we are declaring user automatically equals 50. So you have to put in two of them. Alrighty. So yeah. And of course y'all know what the C out in lines. If you don't it basically means in the line. Um, basically I did this to put the uh, hit in the key to continue. I put that lower so it actually looks nice. Alrighty. And Alrighty, so yeah, that's the CN input on uh, C++ number 8. Uh, thank you for watching my tutorials on CyberOx. As always, God bless and have a good day. Hoorah! Chitty.